or I want to say Kola and Yahahawa, my shimmy how shy, Wahakadash, Roka, or Brakatam. Of course, I want to say the double one is the GMS. Shalom on the full left. Little brother Shemashu one here. Another video. You know, this is a video from Fox Business. Of course, I'm not looking out here for legit stock market advice. Not that I'd put any stock in the stock market anyway. <laughs> but let's watch it. I think almost 600 points. I didn't see the close. That's after yesterday's drop. Buy the dip. We were talking buy the dip yesterday. We got it right one time in a row. Joining us now, help make us some more dough, the great Charles. Don't buy the dip. Uh, essentially, that's what this is talking about. <clears throat> uh, about small businesses making a lot of money, supposedly making a lot more value in their stocks, uh, certain, certain private companies or whatever. I wasn't really paying attention. But pretty much the stock market is really low. Housing prices are coming down. All right, so they're trying to get people to invest. Um, but it's it's all pointless. Okay, you're gonna you're gonna look really stupid in the end. Okay, now I, I just talked about this video on my last video that I made, and it was going into how China is threatening to nuke Japan at the gen Japan vow to defend Taiwan. Okay, but beyond that, right? Say say they do have some war, right? And there is all-out war, full-scale war between them and the U.S. joins in and China does nuke uh, Japan and, and does and does destroy it, okay? Which I doubt they'll do. You know, if, if they nuke Japan, then it's up there, man. They better nuke the U.S. as well, you know? Or maybe the U.S. won't do anything. I, I, I really don't know. But, you know, we just got to watch and see how, 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 you know, wants to play this out. <laughs> How you how buy shimmy how shy wants to play this out. Alright. But uh woo. But yeah, going back into it, man. Um you know what I'm saying? That means there's gonna be a lot of economic sanctions from China that are gonna be put upon the US if there is any uh if if the if the violence escalates. Okay, because the US has already put lots of sanctions on China. But if China puts the same thing on the US, it's gonna be very crippling. This certain Chinese, I'm um, certain certain Chinese run, uh, internet internet companies, Chinese run power companies. Some people are gonna lose power in the internet. You know, a lot of our phones, the chips in our phones, a lot of times are made in China. They have certain parts in China. So if there's an all-out war and and China blocks itself off and blocks the supplies off from the U.S., that's really bad. All right. And this is this is gonna come. This is gonna come, okay. The way I see it, I think Japan is gonna back off. They they may have to back off, because if they stay and they and they fight Japan, then it's gonna be up there, man. It's gonna be up there. All right. So my main point is, don't buy the dip. Don't do it. You're gonna lose all your. You might lose everything, but you're gonna you're gonna lose, man. So don't buy the dip. You guys should know that. So this is Revelation chapter 47. I must go to the point, verse 15, when money fell in the land of Egypt and the land of Cain, all the gifts came to the judges and said, give us bread, for why should we die in thy presence for the money faileth? Exactly, man. All right, your money's going to fail. <laughs> and you guys are going to be, y'all going to be in a world of hurt. All right. And lastly, now the spirit just came upon me real quick. I don't really have a script here. Just kind of doing things uh, off the cuff, um, flowing through the spirit. Revelation chapter 10, verse 14. Go and cry to the gods which you have chosen. Let them live in the time of tribulation. Exactly. Those gods go into little gods, gods of, of stone, gods of wood. Okay. And the thing is, is that a lot of these times, that's the difference between the heathen and us. You know, we, we believe in things that we really can't see with our eyes. I mean, we can't see some things with our eyes, but, you know, we really we really haven't. We've never seen, we haven't seen Yahweh Shai yet, even though there's some brothers that have seen Yahweh or Yahweh Shai in their dreams. You know, we're going off the faith, okay? On these other nations, they pray to gods that are, you know, seen, all right? So, 
Hey man, if you listen to these guys on Fox News and Fox Business, you know, you better just stop, man. Just stop, you know. Um, I'm going to get one more one more thing because I really like this story. In uh, Judges chapter 16, verse 23. Um, no, no, no. Not this one. There was another one where it's like... Yeah, I said it by Dagon. Yeah, this is what I want. Uh, this is First Samuel chapter five, uh, verse. Uh, so like, yeah. This is First Samuel chapter five, verse two. And when the Philistines took the ark of Yahweh, they brought it into the house of Dagon and said it by Dagon. And when they had ashed up, it was early on the morning. Bold Dagon was floating upon his face to the earth before the ark. Of Yahweh, and they took Dagon, set him in his place again. And when he rose early on the morrow morning, behold, the Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground before the ark of Yahweh. He had a Dagon; the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold, and only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore, neither the priest of Dagon nor any that come into Dagon's house tread on the threshold of Dagon in Ashdod to this day. But the head of Yahweh was heavy upon them of Ashdod, and he destroyed them, smote them with emeralds, even Ashdod, and the coast of the emeralds are like, uh, uh, I believe when you look into it, they're like bubbles, bubbles, bu bubbles, they're like, uh, diseases, you know, it's like a disease, like the Black Plague, like a lot of, uh, bubble, bubbles on you. My point here is that, you know, these heathen gods, you can't put any t any stock in them, man. This is very spiritual as well, just for the other nations in general. You know, these other nations, these other gods, these men, they're inferior to our power. So, whenever you see this stuff with the whole Dow and, and whole Dow Jones, S&P 500, all these different moving averages and uh, economic averages to, to just how well our industries are doing, don't listen to them, man. Just, uh... Leave that shit alone. You know, I've heard some brothers bring out uh, gold and silver. You know, you should invest in gold and silver. But, you know, that's not going to save you either. I mean, I don't really got to go into that. That's that's obvious because for that gold and silver, you lugging around. I mean, if, if you don't have the most high with you, then, you know, you could just be robbed and someone's going to steal your shit, you know. But I don't want to get too far out. I think I made my point. All right, of course, I want to say, Call Hawaiian, Yahweh, my Shemi Hawashai, Baha Kadash Rawaka, Obrakatam. All right, to be continued, Shalom.